how are you doing today okay i'm still back again with another hexi question yeah math question so this one a class of 50 students has 44 percent of boys how many boys are there okay all you need to do is um 44 percent means 44 over 100 okay percent percentage means 100 okay just 100 okay 44 percent you divide it with 100 multiplying by the total number of students in the class that is how you get the total number of boys in the class okay to get that so 44 divide 100 will give you um 0 0.4 4 multiply by 50. That's the total number of students in the class. Okay? So the answer will give you um, 22. 22. That's it. Do you guys understand? So the total number of boys there is 22 boys. That's the total number. Yeah. So in this case, if you want to know the total number of girls, all you have to do is um 50 minus 22. It will give you the total number of girls in there. But the question is just how many boys are there? So all we need is no, this 22. 22 is the total number of boys in the class. That's it. You see? 44% means 44 divided by 100. She multiply it by the total number of students in the class. That's it. That's it, guys. Yeah. Here's another one. Here's a question, okay? I just change the numbers, okay? And mother changes her baby eight times a day. How many diapers will be needed in a year? Okay? So, let's get to work. Um, eight in a day. How many will be needed in one year? Right? Yeah, that's what it means. So, eight times one day is equal to eight in a day. How many days it makes um a year? Remember, it's. 365 days makes one year, right? So it means it, um, um, 365 days makes one year. Okay. All you, um, you have to do is multiply it with 365. That's it. So all you have to do is eight times three hundred and sixty-five, which will give you um eight. If you punch it in your calculator, it's going to give you um two hundred and ninety-two zero two two thousand nine hundred and twenty. So it means the mother changes 2920 times in a year. I mean, the mother changes the baby 2920 times of diapers in a year. Okay, that's it. Okay, here's one more. Okay, um, a cake provides 36 servants. <sighs> okay, let's start again. A cake provides. That is six servings, okay? How many cakes do you need for a class of 60 and a staff of four? Okay? Yeah. So all you need to do is, um, remember, that is six servings, ha, one cake, right? How many do you need for a class of 60 uh, and a staff of four? So let's, Add everybody together for us to know how many people we have right now. Okay, so 60, um, 60 
class plus the 60 class this one um 60 class plus four we add them together okay okay yeah we add so right now we add 60 and four 60 class plus four staff okay so we'll give you 64 we need we have 64 um people right now to eat the cake 64 people right now to eat the cake right all right since um one cake will give you i don't know if you guys can see here right here okay all right since one cake one cake can give you guys um 36 servings My, my handwriting sucks, right? So one cake can give you um that is uh, one cake can give you that is sevens. So right now, how many cake? How many cake right now? Um, see, one cake will give you that is sevens. So how many cake will give you sixty four? Sixty four. How many cake will you need for sixty four people? That's it. Hmm? So one has 64 equals to 64 over 36 X. 36 X. Use a calculator and punch it. Um 64 divide 36. It will give you 1.7. Um the answer will give you x will be 1.77 or approximately 8 1.8 yeah so you need 1.8 amount of cake one cake 0.78 to to solve 60 yeah that's the answer. I need this 1.78 amount of cake to serve um, 64 people. That's it. Okay, let me go through it again to know how many people we have total. So we have a total of 64 people that want to eat the cake. Since one cake can serve 64 and um, 36 servings, since one cake can only serve 36 people so how many cake do we do i need for 64 people so that's it 1.78 that's it